On page 58 of your Kardec Dissuthmi interpretation book, you'll find uh, junctional rhythms. So junctional rhythms are ones where the, um, the focus that's controlling the heart rate is either in the AV node or the AV junction, which is where the um, AV node connects to the bundle of his, or somewhere in the perinodal tissue. And the rate in a junctional rhythm is, um, or the inherent rate anyway, the AV junction is between 40 and 60 beats per minute. And this is because it's a backup pacemaker side. So normally, if you'll recall, the SA node controls the heart rate because it fires the fastest. It, it was inherently designed for that purpose. So in the event that the SA node fails uh, because of disease or ischemia or other reason, um, then backup pacemaker sites will hopefully kick in. And one of those might be the... Um, area of the AV junction, which has an inherently slower firing rate. So typically it would be the 40 to 60 range, but um, there are other reasons why um, cells or groups of cells will begin to fire spontaneously in other parts of the heart. And again, it might be ischemia, disease, electrolyte imbalance, drug effect, etc. And sometimes um, those other pacemaker sites fire at a rate faster than the SA node. And uh, when that happens, so if we see a junctional rhythm with a heart rate greater than 60, uh, the term for that is an accelerated junctional rhythm. If the heart rate was 100 greater, that would be a junctional tachycardia. Um, here, just out of curiosity, we'll calculate the heart rate. And um, this QRS falls fairly close to a dark line. So the heart rate here is 300, 150, 175, 60. So in fact, this is uh, an example of an accelerated um, junctional rhythm. The P waves in a junctional rhythm are either inverted, as we see in this case here. Um, so this would be lead two, and uh, the P waves are uh, deflected downward, so those would be inverted P waves, or the P waves may be absent or retrograde. And important to remember that if P waves are, are um, absent, the QRS should be narrow in order, in, order, in order to call it a junctional rhythm. The peer interval will be normal or short or not applicable if we don't see P waves. Uh, in this case, um, the uh, peer interval is um, typically short when we see inverted P waves. And the reason for that, quite simply, is um, let me just see if I can draw, draw this out here. So if you imagine the myocardium, and here's your SA node, Here's your AV node and bundle of hiss. If you have an ectopic focus firing from here, for example, uh, what happens is that uh, it, it's, it's below the level of the AV node, and so consequently, the PR interval is very, very short. Uh, and the reason we see an inverted P wave is because in lead two, the positive electrode is located here. And so the wave of depolarization, the atria, is moving away from that positive electrode, and consequently, we get this negatively deflected P wave. Um, so that's the re reason for that. The QRS complex is usually narrow, and again, I use an expl exclamation mark here because in the event that you see a rhythm where there are no visible P waves and the QRS is wide, then we have to assume that the rhythm is uh, coming from an ectopic focus in the ventricles rather than junctional. But as long as the QRS is narrow and we see uh, inverted P waves, absent P waves, or retrograde P waves, then we're talking about a junctional rhythm here. The ratio where P waves are visible is uh, one to one, and the rhythm in a junctional rhythm is uh, regular. Now, in, in terms of clinical presentation, um, it really depends on how slow the heart rate is. So uh, a lot of patients will, will tolerate a heart rate of 40 to 50 quite nicely, and, and as long as they're not exerting themselves, will be you know, relatively asymptomatic. There are other patients, on the, hand, on the other hand, who wouldn't tolerate a heart rate of 40 whatsoever. These are patients who have underlying cardiac disease, uh, comorbidities such as COPD or other diseases and so on and so forth. So it really depends on the age of the heart, the age of the patient, uh, other coexisting disease, and so on and so forth. So if, if um, the junction rhythm is really quite slow and the patient's unstable with that, then we have to look at treating that patient with uh, either electrical therapy or pharmacological therapy.